If perfume is a language, if it's communication, it's a language of sorts, what are the letters of the language? Yeah. Well, if you, if you have a computer, and most of you probably have a computer of some sort, an access of some, some time, something, how many colours does your computer use to draw the screen? Yeah, well, it, it could be four actually. Yeah, if you do for printing, they use four colours, but your screen usually just uses RGB, red, green, and blue, to draw how many colours on your screen. Windows ninety eight, I think, was like sixty million. Windows uh, seven is in the billions of combinations. Yeah, these are from what we call three prime prime colours. Problem is, is that. We don't know if there's such a thing as prime smells. There are two basic theories on how the sense of smell works. One is vibrational, and one is the shape of the molecule. The, the industry is very, very strongly rooted in the shape theory of, yeah, of smell. If it's shape theory, then there probably won't, will not be such a thing as prime smells. Having said that, I'm now going to teach you a method that's based on prime smells, which is the idea that there are 120 or thereabouts prime odour smells. Yeah, not three, but 120. So if you can make billions from three colours, how many smells can you make from 120 prime smells? So are you saying that you're more on the vibrational side? Uh, yes, I think everything points towards it. I think everything points towards it. I think it's, uh, I mean, I had uh, three PhDs on a course when we did one in New York in 2008, and three, three of them were uh, new molecule chemists, yeah, for Simrise, um, what's the other? Simrise, but one was from IFF, 30 years with IFF creating new molecules. And even, even though I put forward the case for vibration, yeah, def, you know, they are definitely, the industry is definitely rooted into a shape theory. I'll, I'll come on to this more, yeah, but uh, there's, too much, there's too much tied up in it being a shape theory, yeah. But eventually I think it's going to be turned out to be a combination of both. Yeah, a combination of shape and, and vibration, because vibration uh, gives some other answers. For those of you who are not following what I'm saying at all, yeah, <laughs> the vibrational idea is that <clears throat> if, if everything is vibration, then we're not looking at really prime smells at all, we're just looking at how, th how vibrations affect each other. And when you mix two things together, you can get other vibrations which produce new smells.